Hello, I'm Deborah Sophia Magdalene here in Turkey with my friend Julie Bryant. Hi. And uh, we thought we'd do a quick video blog about travel essentials um, in terms of which essential oils are really useful when you're going away. So the first thing that I do is I bring a couple of keychains with me. So these are brilliant because these are two mil bottles. They come empty and then you can just put your own oil in here and uh, if you get a doTERRA account they have cap stickers so you can put the cap stickers on the top so these ones here are from the home essentials kit uh, and also the family wellness kit and these are ones that i would not be without so in here we've got on guard which is a protective blend which is really good at boosting the immune system and I've also got that in beadlet form. So when I was on the airplane, for example, I had these in my bag. And then when I'm flying, I'll take these to boost my immune system because a lot of people get sick. They do, from the air conditioning. From the, the air conditioning, it's terrible. Yes. Yeah, it is. And the people sitting next to are coughing. And, I know. Um, I gave the man next to me an on guard. Did you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> you didn't give me one. You were sitting next to me. You had your own way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, other, other oils I've got in here are frankincense, which is the king of oils. If in doubt, use frankincense. It's amazing for like skin. Uh, it's got really good anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, it's good for bites and anything like that. I've got breathe, which is the respiratory blend. So if you have any sort of uh, seasonal discomfort, it's very good for that. Uh, it's, it's good at opening up the airways as well. Digest then. This was good for you, Jules. Wasn't yes. It? Yeah, we use breathe as well, but we we'll talk about that afterwards. Yeah, it's part of the. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. what what did we use digestion for, with you? Because prior to coming to Turkey, I'd spent four months in Mexico, and I had a really dodgy tummy, um, which has sort of flipped from being loose to constipation by the time I got here. So my tummy needs a little bit of TLC. So for a few nights we rubbed a few drops of the oil into, into my tummy and it really started to help, help it to settle down because it had been like it for months. So yeah. it was really nice to finally start getting back to normal. It's quite incredible really considering it was only just a, a few drops from this tiny little bottle. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. amazing. Uh, I'll just tell you yeah. a story about when we were on the boat trip as well, when we went with the, oh, yes. the diving trip. Yes, There's a, a girl yeah. there called Rhea, yeah. beautiful girl, and uh, she'd had a really bad tummy for five days. She hadn't been able to go to the toilet for five days and mm. she, I said, what's your pain level? And on a scale of one to ten, she had a pain level of seven. Mm. And I just gave her one drop of digestin. I always, in my travel kit, I carry a spare one. And in here, I've got fractionated coconut oil, which is the best carrier oil to use. Because this is the oil that keeps the essential oil closest to its natural chemistry. Um, so I simply put, um, when you actually tap these two mil bottles, you've got like an orifice reducer on here. So it's a very small hole and it dispenses half a drop. So I just tapped it sharply on the bottom twice. So she got a full drop, put a little bit of this on. She blended it, rubbed it around her navel. And um, so we did that and the pain level came down to four. And then after lunch, I said, come on, let's do it again. So she put one more drop on after lunch. And before we left the boat, the pain level had come down to zero. And we got off the, off the boat and we went for a, a drink together. And she came running up to me and she said, don't put a bean on bean. And she was like, sorry, Lee. <laughs> so that's what two drops of this can do. Yeah, it is. And this is why I always travel with them, because yeah. you just never know who you yes. can help yeah. whilst you're actually And they're really own. handy um, handbag size as well, aren't they? Don't they yeah. you can give an idea of the perspective of the size. If you, if you compare it to the size of a mobile phone, it's like half the size of your mobile phone. Yeah. They're really tiny. Yeah. So really easy to pack and bring with you. And light. And light, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that was uh, digesting. Uh, the other oil I've got here is oregano. Mm. Um, I actually had, um, after my dive trip, I thought I had ear, uh, water stuck in my ear. Yeah. And it was bad for Painful, quite it? a few days. Yeah. And uh, it, it must have been like that for what, a week? At least. At least a week. And then um, yeah. I thought, I need to go to the hospital. Mm. And I thought they'd just suction the water out. But when I went to the hospital, it turned out it was actually an ear infection. Mm. 
and I thought, and they prescribed antibiotics for me. And I thought, I don't need my antibiotics. I'm just going to use my oils. So once I got that diagnosis yes. and I knew that it was an infection, yeah. what I did was I took oregano internally in some water. So just in a glass of water, um, stirred it up because obviously oil and water doesn't mix. And then I drank that. And then I put melaleuca, which is um, like a tea tree oil, behind the mastoid bone. Now, if ever you do get an ear infection, it's important that you actually put it behind both ears, not just one, mm. because it's about bringing them into balance. So I put it behind, behind the ear and also just in front mm. here. It's essential oil safety, right? Never ever put essential oils in the ears or up the nose, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, or get them anywhere near yeah. your eyes, otherwise they will sting. And did you put this on meat, Deb, or did you put it on with the oil? I put it on Actually, meat, but then what on. I did is I just got yeah. a tiny bit of the carrier oil on yes. my finger and then just rubbed it all the time. And that was the coconut, vaccinated yeah. coconut oil. Yeah, yeah. because when you actually use um, coconut oil with the oils, it actually helps them to get absorbed better yes. into the bloodstream yeah. and then they get carried around. Because like essential oils are vol volatile aromatic compounds, they can fly off into the atmosphere yeah. and so that helps them to adhere yeah, it makes to the sense. skin. Yeah. Yeah. And it helps them to go yes. a long way as yeah. well, of course. Yeah. much further. Mm. Um, so using those two oils, oregano and melaleuca, just for two days my ear infection had gone. So Amazing, it was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, uh, lavender, uh, I've used this uh, several times. Yeah. In fact, we both used a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and have we used what could be we We've used, used it um, for mainly for cuts and for bites. We've been bitten by all kinds of um, unidentified creatures here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Which have caused our, our skin, especially around our, our legs and our ankles, to flare up um, yeah. quite severely, actually, in many respects. So the lavender has been great. Again, mixed with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil to rub on onto yeah. the bites and but, wounds as well. But what, what's cuts. interesting is when we first yes. came to Turkey, we, the, we didn't get any bites at all, and it was only in the last two weeks yeah. as it's that got the insects and yeah. have come out, yeah. and then they started to bite. Yeah. So we'd already been bitten. Uh, and, and actually, some of these flies are really nasty. They're worse than yeah. mosquito bites, yeah. and they're like um, razors cutting along your leg. Yeah, and it just spreads. Yeah, it's not like a localized <laughs> bite that just stays that small size. It spreads and spreads to a, yeah. you know, quite a big wound. And then you can get like a, an allergic reaction to mm. them as well, which I yes. did. So what I did straight away was I took trays, mm. um, which is very very good if. Um, I need to be compliant with how I say this, but I would take this if ever I was considering taking, um, what do you call them when you, you know, when you get like a reaction? Antihistamine. Uh, yes. An antihistamine, Which yeah. And, and in here, what it is, it's equal drops of lavender, lemon and peppermint. Mm. So if you don't have um, triees, you can simply use, you know, lavender, lemon and peppermint and just use equal drops. So you've got those actually in a set, haven't you? Yeah, I'd already brought those with me as it happened, yeah. the three of them. But it was just, it's one drop, isn't it? One drop of each yeah. in, a big, in a big glass of water. Yeah. But do you want to oh, show? Oh, you don't even need to do that. You can actually blend it in and apply it on your feet as well. Oh, okay. So another way of yeah. actually doing that is to make up a, I, I brought this with me. This is a spray bottle, a glass spray bottle. And in here, I made up um, a blend of uh, lavender and peppermint right. for when I got sunburnt on the boat trip. Oh. And it's mixed with uh, fractionated coconut okay. oil. So what I could do was spray that onto the area that was burnt yeah. because the lavender is very, very good for yeah. burns yeah. and the peppermint's cooling. Yes. But peppermint is also a driver oil, so it yes. sends yes. You know, the lavender deep yeah. into the tissue. Yeah. In fact, talking of peppermint, we did use peppermint oil. Um, oh, yes, the ticks. again, no, no, apart from the ticks, again on the boat trip. I'd been out there swimming, snorkeling, and the oh, cold, yeah. the cold had got to the extremities of my hands and my fingers, and they were tingling and they were going numb. And you just gave me a couple of the little peppermint um, capsules, didn't it? Yeah. No, no, I gave you a drop. Have? A drop of peppermint. Oh, I had drops, did we? Yeah, I applied it topically ah. and you rubbed it in. Because again, within about 30 minutes, all the feelings started coming back to my hands, coming back to my feet, because um, they'd become really, really cold. They spent too long in the water mm. and um, they were all tingling and they, they were not very really pleasant at all. 
Yeah, and, yeah. and this is one of the benefits of having uh, the Modern Essentials app on my phone because mm. when anything like this happens, I can put in here, yeah. do a search on it, and I did a search, I think it was on nervous system. Yeah, and it was. Uh, and peppermint yes. was a top oil, and I yes. happened to have yeah. that with yeah. me. And so that's yeah. the oil that we used. That's right. So this is a really good resource, mm. Modern Essentials app. Download it from the App Store. Definitely. Do you want to say any more about using your tries at this point as well with the, um, yeah. the dangerous? <laughs> yeah, I'll let you tell our story. <laughs> Over here in Turkey, our house, our, actually our, our house owners forewarned us when we, when we first arrived about these dangerous caterpillars. And um, they actually warned us, not, not so much for ourselves, but they warned us against the animals coming into contact with these caterpillars because these caterpillars, have, they release these, these very, very fine hairs that get into the air and if they're inhaled or if they're ingested in some way like if, if one of the dogs had some or the cats even had some on their paws and they, they were licking them then it would get into their system and what happens is it sends the system into like a shock mm -hmm. and it causes the the throat area to, to close up in particular and probably about a week after we've been here i had one of these caterpillars on my bed <laughs> <laughs> and um, it obviously been crawling across all my bed linen and um, the first I knew of it well obviously I knew of the caterpillar but I didn't know that I was going to have any kind of allergic reaction to it because I don't normally have allergic reaction no. to anything so I, I'd caught this caterpillar and I'd put it outside my room and just sort of waved it off in its merry way but when I came back into my room because it had been crawling all over my bed linen Obviously the hairs were, were there and I must have either ingested it or touched my skin. But the first I knew that I was, I was reacting to it was, my, again, my hands were all tingling. It felt like um, oh, something was crawling all over, all over my hands. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I know, my throat was all closing up in the way that it was described would happen to, to the animals. And so it's like one o'clock in the morning, I think. It's two. It's two. <laughs> Quarter to two, I say, to be precise. Yeah, so I was knocking on Deborah's door at two o'clock in the morning and saying, ah, help. And I was actually really quite concerned because my throat was closing up rapidly. Yeah, it started to panic a little bit. I was starting to panic a little bit as well, which really didn't help. And so we used a combination of, I took um, one of these, which is the tries that uh, Deborah's already mentioned. So I took that one internally. But at the same time, I'd forgotten about the, the breathe, actually. I'm trying to remember, really, yeah, what else we Yeah, because we wanted to open up the air airways, yes. didn't we? So, it's so we breathe. used breathe. And um, what was the other thing? On the feet. What did we use on the feet? We used on guard. On guard, on the feet. On the feet, because the on guard boosts the immune system. Yeah. So the combination of all, of all three of those of the products working together was, was quite rapid. In fact, it, 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 stopped the, it stopped the swelling of my throat immediately yeah um and it took probably about an hour or an hour and a half to completely subside yeah but that that rapid swelling of the foot of the throat <laughs> really <laughs> we've got some dogs here the dogs are joining in too yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah in fact amazing. the other thing that i've used trays for is that you know we look after a lot of animals here we've got five dogs six cats 20 chickens and i started to have a reaction to all the cat hairs yes. flying around we've got the cats are molting and the hairs are just all in the atmosphere and i started to get a really uh, bad reaction to them uh, and the tries really helped me with that as well so and, and this is one that i wasn't actually planning on bringing you away with me I, I, right at the last minute i just saw it there and i put it in my bag it was you like an intuition known. Known. intuition yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, the other uh, oils that I've brought with me, um, I've got myrrh, which I've been using on a cracked heel. When I wear sandals all day long, um, my heels have got a tendency to crack, just on one foot actually. Mm. And I find that myrrh is very, very good uh, for skin uh, and also for gums and any oral problems as well. Uh, so I've been using that. I've also brought heliquism, but I haven't actually needed to use this Although I could have done with it on the boat trip because um, the chef on the boat cut his finger and I didn't have this keychain with me, I only had this one. Um, um, so it, had I uh, had this one, 
I could have put helichrysum on because helichrysum stops bleeding like that. It's really, really quick. I've used it before and I've put my finger. Yeah. I cut myself. I couldn't stop the bleeding. You know, I was putting plasters on and it was just going, the blood was going straight through it. Wow. And uh, just one drop of helichrysum sorted it out. She it put that amazing. on meat as well. Meat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. The other oils that I've brought, I've brought spikenard because I love spikenard. Um, and you can do so many things with it. I've also brought Whisper, which is good for hormone balancing. And I don't need it for that because I don't have any hormone problems, but I love it as a perfume. Um, just have a smell of that one, please. What do you think? It's your first. <laughs> yeah. it, yeah. And I've also brought my mood oils as well. We've used Ooh. Elevation a oh, couple amazing. of times, haven't we? Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. Yeah, on the first book. Yeah. Just rub your, and this one's pre diluted with fractionated coconut oil. Mm. It's divine. <laughs> it really is divine. Yeah. <laughs> it has come out with a uh, smell of vision videos. <laughs> oh, no. This one's one of my favourites, Elevation, which is That's a joyful too. blend. So yeah. I use that one as a perfume, too. which is why mm. I brought that. Uh, but also, if ever uh, you're mm. feeling down, Elevation is wonderful at lifting your spirits. I've also got Serenity, which I've used a few times in the evening uh, for helping me to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, Citrus Bliss, uh, which is just really beautiful. And Balance, which is a grinding blend. We've mm -hmm. used that one as well. That's the one I put on the soles of your feet when you're feeling a bit more Oh, was it? Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, now I'll, so that's the oils that I brought with me in the pouch. I also brought a 5 ml bottle of peppermint because I go for a lot of peppermint and I brought a 5 ml bottle of lemon because I use this in water uh, I just love the taste of this in water and I just want to be really clear when I'm talking about ingesting essential oils that it's actually dangerous to do this with other brands you, you know if, you, if ever you're going to ingest an essential oil you've got to follow the manufacturer's guidelines and you've got to have confidence in the company that they are safe to do so so all these oils are tested um, not just once, but between 5 and 15 times. They're extensively tested to make sure that they're safe. Not just that they're safe, they're important, but also the chemistry of the oil is tested to make sure that it's the right compounds, the right molecules in the right order so that you've got a therapeutic grade oil. We've used wild orange quite a lot. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, I've been Lovely. making salad dressings yeah. up with this. Yeah. And I've also used lemon for making salad dressings up. Um, and I've given Jules a bottle of this to take home with her because it's just so gorgeous and, and she's so gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> the wild orange is actually one of my favourites, but you've, you've got to be really careful when you're travelling because with citrus oils, right, you don't put these on your skin and then go out into the sun, otherwise you'll burn because they're photosensitive. So always, you know, read upon safety. And you don't put them into plastic either, do you? You don't. So if you had a water bottle or something that was plastic, you wouldn't, you wouldn't go and put, put one of those in. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. It's an important no. point. So yeah. always use glass mm. uh, or ceramic if you don't have glass. Um, I've also been using my Sun and Sassy in water, Sun and Sassy Metabolic Blend, uh, which I, I love the taste of. And um, I haven't personally needed to use a deep blue, but uh, my neighbour Nadji has tried it out. He's got joint problems. Um, and I brought this with me just in case I needed it because um, you never know when when you're going to need anything like that and it's a, it's very effective for sort of um, relieving pain and uh, you can use it in combination with frankincense at which I did when I brought my rib those were the two that I use uh, and that really really supported my healing my body to heal itself now we mentioned about the insects and how when we first arrived here that we didn't have a problem mm. but as soon as i found out that there was a problem i started to use my terra shield mm. which is an insect repellent and i haven't been bitten since uh, i started using this which i've actually been very impressed with actually and it's quite um it's quite a pungent um a citrusy smell quite a strong yeah, smell and you only need a little yes. bit of it so i've just been putting a couple of sprays on and then rubbing it over over the whole area. And that's at night, in the evening, you do. Yeah, I've been using it because the, the insects tend to mm. come out around about dust. Yeah. So I've been using it then and putting it around yeah. my. Uh, I know I was having a shower and I had one of these horrible flies in my shower. And whilst I was in the shower, it got me on yeah. the back of my leg and ended yeah, up with this really huge, huge mm. thing there. Um, 
What else do I want to talk about? Uh, oh yeah, this, one of the other things that um, that I brought with me was the shampoo and conditioner, which is no nasties in here. You know, you've not, you've not got those horrible uh, parabens, toxins, etc. Just bear in mind that whatever you're putting on your skin or in your hair gets absorbed into the mm. bloodstream. So I use a uh, doTERRA shampoo and conditioner and I brought them in the sachets because they don't take up any room, like shampoo and conditioner in, in the bottles. Yes, right. They're heavy, yeah. they take mm. up room. Whereas mm. with these, I've just got one application and I only wash my hair now once a week because mm. I've got like, you know, the, all the natural oils in my hair. And so I find that I only needed to bring uh, yeah. five sachets with me. Uh, and I've only used four of them, so you can have that as a gift. Oh, yours. bless! You <laughs> Thank you it. very much. Uh, the other thing that I love is this one here. It's the Root Tip Serum. Uh, I've got long hair, and I find that um, my hair can get tangled in the shower when I'm washing it. Um, and what I do is I just get this, and it's in a dropper. Ooh. It's a dropper, so it's thick, all that, it? yeah, it's quite thick. And while your hair's still wet, before you even attempt to um, comb it or brush it, mm -hmm. you just put a little bit of that on your palm, just a couple of drops, rub them together, and then pull it through your whole, your, oh, right. all your hair. So it's like coating it, and then you comb it, and you don't get any tangles. So it's that's amazing. after you've washed and conditioned yeah. with this, you then put that on. Yeah. yeah. I'm mm. so impressed with it. Because mm. um, I tend to lose a lot of hair when I'm, mm. when I'm combing it. Um, the other thing that I've used a lot of is, oh, this is one that I absolutely love. This is my anti-aging moisturiser, which contains frankincense. Uh, so I'll put it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've been using this and uh, it, it's uh, a very light, non-greasy, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous smell. Because your hand. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to be a spray. Yeah, it's just it's a little pump, actually. Yeah, yeah, so just put that pump. in. Sorry. And then just smell it, and it's like really lovely. They all smell fabulous, though, don't they? I know. <laughs> and then I've brought, but, but this is actually one of the new mm. doTERRA products. This is uh, from the, the spa range, and it's called Citrus Bliss, which is a uh, hand cream. So put a bit of that on. Oh, I what do you call it? Put the, the new one. Uh, I've put the, what do you call it back over it so yeah. that it doesn't come out. Yeah. Got, uh, it sort of reseals itself. If, if, I, if I'm travelling, I don't like to leave these open mm -hmm. because it comes out again. Well, That's a good know. tip, actually. Yeah. Uh, so, so you don't take I don't the silver bit off completely? No. And then if you mm -hmm. uh, just wipe, wipe the excess yes. off, uh -huh. uh, you mm -hmm. can then seal it up again. Ah. And then it doesn't come out in your luggage because when you go in the area, yeah, they do. That's right, they come it, out. They can um, mm. go all over. Mm. I find that out the hard way. <laughs> so I yeah, tend to leave to those the sealed yeah. up. Mm. Um, I also have been using the On Guard toothpaste, which I absolutely love. If you want to try some of this, you know, you're welcome to. This is has not got any um, fluoride in it. If you're on the spiritual path, avoid fluoride at all costs because it cal calcifies the pineal gland, which is the spiritual centre. <laughs> and I love this because it's got the on guard in it, so it's actually the added protection as well from essential oils for your, the oral health. Uh, I brought the deep blue rub with me, uh, but the only person who's used that is Nadja. Mm -hmm. Again, for muscles. For muscles, yeah. yeah. Um, and so those are really the ones that I've travelled with. The, the other things that I always travel with and I take every single day are my supplements. These ones here. So we've got the Alpha CRS, which is a cellular vitality complex, helps keep your cells in really good nick. I've got the Microplex VMZ, which is the vitamins and minerals, because we're not getting what our bodies need just from no, food no, alone. No, not these days. The soils no. have been stripped of nutrients, yes, and yes. so we need to supplement. And also I've got the Omega oils. Now, I have um, a mainly vegan diet, but I do make the exception for these, but these are the fish oils, um, they're from clean fish sources. If you, are, if you are eating fish, make sure it's sourced from clean fish sources because a third of the oceans are now contaminated mm. after the, is it the Fukushima disaster. Uh, and I decided for some reason that I was going to do a cleanse <laughs> while I was in Turkey. Because I had my supplements in, and I like to do one every six months to draw the toxins out and mm. to keep um, my body healthy. And so I took the Terrazyme, which is a digestive enzyme complex, and this is really good at breaking the food down and helping it, uh, making it easy to digest. 
I've got the zendocrine, which gives the organs a deep cleanse. So this is filtering like the, uh, the liver, the kidneys, the colon, the bowel. Um, and then I took the GX assist, which is a candida killer. Keep any fungus that's in the system at bay. And then after the GX assist, I'm now taking the PB assist, which is very, very high quality probiotics. And these are actually in a patented delivery system. I'll just show you these capsules. These capsules are double coated. So these are patented. And this means that they don't actually break down until they get into your gut. Because what can happen uh, with probiotics is that they're actually breaking down before they get to where they're required. Right. right? Um, so what I love about doTERRA is that, you know, they employ uh, a, a big team of researchers and scientists and they're constantly working on new product development uh, to and come up with that state-of-the-art product. And then how long would you need to take those, those four products in order to do a proper cleanse? It's a month. Oh, it's a one month. One okay. month protocol. If anybody hasn't done a cleanse before and uh, they've got a really toxic body or they've got really severe medical problems, it's better to do it over a three month period right. rather than a one month period so okay. that you're not experiencing yeah. Yeah. you know, detox symptoms. Yes. And you also have a very effective way of taking so many pills at once, don't you? I do, Which yeah. you did a video of the other day. I did, yes. yes. And yeah. what you do, you, you get all your supplements. I put mine in an, in an egg cup from the kitchen, mm -hmm. put them all together because I was taking ten. And I can take all those 10 in one go just by getting a glass of water, putting all the supplements in my mouth, taking uh, some water in my mouth, putting my mouth forward and then gulping because all, when you put your mouth forward, all the supplements come to the top and then you can just swallow them all in one go. It's amazing really. <laughs> how you do that. It's very simple. It takes seconds. <gasps> seconds. Whereas if that, that had been me, before I saw you doing that, would have been taking each one. Well, that's one what I used Italy, to do. Yeah. That's what I used to do. And then yes. Becky yeah. Bowles, who's in my outline, gave me that tip. And yeah. it's changed my Great life. Great tip. Changed yeah. my life, Great yeah. Tip. So those are the products that I brought with me. I say you don't need to bring all the cleanse products. You don't need to do all this. But I would certainly recommend you know, at least travelling with uh, essential oil um, first aid kit because you can really use these for so many things for boosting the immune system and everything. Yeah, and can people actually buy these in the, the little products or do they they buy... No, the smallest, the slightly the smallest ones, one are five mil bottles okay, or so you can get them in 15 mil bottles. Right, so you, you'd buy your product originally in this yeah. size yeah. And, and then, then you decant would decant them, them into yeah. the smaller size. Yeah, because it, um, everybody has different favourites yes. and so it means that you can... It, so these come empty and yeah. you just fill them with, with whichever you want. And for people such as myself who are constantly travelling, like... These are a great size because at the moment we're here in Turkey for five weeks. Yeah. So that this is a perfect size to, to bring with you. Now, if somebody like that, myself, that, that's, that would actually last me a lot longer, would it? Yeah, because a lot of these, you know, I'm using them as and when required. If yeah. you look at the on guard, I fill this up to the top, and there's hardly anything used. It's mm. like, you know, depends you, you on what use, you need. It depends on what you're yeah. using them for. So would you go away for a six month trip with just a small ones like that, or would you take the full size bottles like this? If I was going away for six months, I'd check the. The five one. mil bottles, yeah, yeah because um, you can actually get the top ten oils in a five mil. I think it comes as like a pack, right? And you can buy that for uh, one hundred and ten pounds, including that, and that also includes a free wholesale account. Right. And when you do that, you also get access to all the free training resources. Okay. Because okay. um, you know we have so yes. many different classes that you can do. And can you carry these in obviously a bigger version, but some kind of little travel? They don't sell, uh, well, they do sell travel kits for them, yeah. I've actually got a hard shell one mm -hmm. uh, that, that I actually won in, uh, at a doTERRA event. Yeah. But you could just get something like a pencil case. I actually bought these uh, pencil cases and they're fabulous. Yeah, they're padded. Cool. And this yeah. bill, you, I brought it actually to put my oils in. It's um, a perfect size, <laughs> actually. Yeah. And I love this one because it's yeah. also got a zip in the middle. So mm. for my glass spray bottle, I can put this in the middle there. And it's giving it, it that added nice protection. Care. These are great. And this actually Lovely. takes the 15 mil bottles as well. Mm. So I've got a five mm. mil in one side and I've got 15 mil. And if I want mm. to, I can put my um, mm. things in. And I also travel with my iTobi device mm. as well. And what, what the iTobi device does, it gives, um, it matches your body's frequencies to the frequencies of the essential oil. So you can do a scan and find out what are the oils that are going to help you the most right now. 
uh, and I did a scan for my neighbour Nadji and uh, he took my oils over and it turns out that we're living in the heart of the <laughs> essential amazing. oil production facility yeah, for the whole of Turkey. Yeah, um, and now I've connected, um, you know, the, dist the owner of the distillery who's a friend of Nadji's with doTERRA and we'll see where it goes, we just never know. So I think, have you got any more questions Jules, anything? Um, no, other than perhaps out of everything that you've now shared, because that's quite a lot of product, particularly for people who, who are new to these yeah. oils. So if you were to recommend um, the perfect starter kit for travellers, because both of us know a lot of um, people who are now living lives as digital nomads and doing yeah. lots of travelling and house sitting. So I'm sure that a lot, of, a lot of these people are going to be watching this video as well. Um, what would you recommend for people who haven't used the oils before as, as a start-up? Kit. Would it be that that one that you just mentioned then, which is yeah. £110? Yeah, kit? it's it's um it's called the family wellness kit or the family is a uh, family so the physician kit. Physician. Ah, it's actually yes. changing the name. It? It's called the family physician kit, but it's being rebranded ah. to the family wellness kit, I think, yeah. or the family essentials kit, or something yes. like that. Yeah. Um, so when they've actually run out of stock of the old one, that's, that's what the new okay. name will be. Uh, so it's the top 10 oils, and uh, if anybody wants to get some education around those, you know, that this is what I do, I educate mm. people about essential oils and how to use them as safe, mm. natural alternatives for your health and wellness. Mm. So if you'd like to see that video, I'll happily send it to you. Just drop me an email to deborahmagdalene at gmail.com. That's D-E-B-R-A, Deborah Magdalene, M-A-G-D-A-L-E-N-E, -E at gmail.com. And I can send you that. Uh, or contact me via Facebook. My um, Magdalene Wellness page is on Facebook. And uh, also I've got different pages on there as well. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. 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 Thank you.